Hey guys, it's been a while since I last uploaded a video, so I thought I'd do a quick update on whereabouts I am in my journey in training for kickboxing. So last weekend I was graded to blue belt uh, red stripe, which I'm extremely pleased about. I think the last time I'd uh, done a video on uh, my grading, that was way back when I was only graded at, uh, at yellow, yellow uh, belt. So um, yep, come quite a way since, uh, since then. Um, so in this video I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the different levels of grading within kickboxing and also I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to tie a kickboxing belt because uh, as, as ridiculous as this sounds it was something that I struggled with when I first started kickboxing a couple of years ago. It's like, how the hell do you tie these things? Ended up Googling it, looking on YouTube. So for anybody who has just started kickboxing or karate or anything that requires a belt, um, I'll show you how, how I tied my belt. I'm sure there's different ways on tying belts out there. But um, according to the British Kickboxing Council, it goes from white. Then your next belt would be red followed by yellow, orange, green, blue, purple, brown, then black. Uh, and then it doesn't stop at black because once you've reached black belt, you you can then progress on to first dan, second dan, and third dan uh, black belt. So black belt basically represents the end of your basic training and this i guess is where the really hard work uh starts from uh from reaching black belt uh, onwards but having said that <clears throat> uh most uh, martial arts academies uh have a different variation on the the belt grading system so why is a belt grading system important in martial arts well, traditionally, kickboxing didn't come with a, uh, a belt grading system of, of any kind, but a lot of academies have kind of adopted belt grading system from uh, karate, for example. It's good to have some kind of a grading system because it's a good idea to have goals to work towards. It's a good sense of achievement once you achieve those goals, and it's, a, it's an excellent way of keeping track of your progress so if you just went through four years, which is approximately how long it would take to reach black belt, four years worth of training. So if you just went through those four years and didn't have a single grading within that four year period, I don't know. I kind of feel like um, it, would, it wouldn't be as fun. I wouldn't have those goals to aim towards and I wouldn't have that, uh, that sense of achievement. I don't know whether, I'm, I'm not one for, uh, you know, purely going and just aiming for the next belt, aiming for the next grade, and obviously I'm there to, uh, you know, progress and uh, and develop my skills, but having a grading system definitely makes things uh, a lot more fun, a lot more a lot more exciting, having those goals to, to aim towards. And let's face it, we all have uh, goals in life that, uh, that we like to aim towards. So a lot of academies have a different variation on the belt grading system. So that was, uh, according to the British Kickboxing Council, that is um, you know, a standard uh, kickboxing grading system. And generally, grading would be every six months. The academy I go to, um, you don't really start off with a white belt uh, because um, uh, white belt, you would only have your white belt for four weeks before you're graded to your first kind of proper belt if that makes sense so they kind of do away with the white belts and you just have no belt for the first uh, for the first four weeks and after the first four weeks you're graded to white belt uh, yellow stripe so this is kind of like our uh, beginners uh, or, or your your first grade would be white belt yellow stripe then uh, three months after white belt yellow stripe, assuming you've put enough classes in and put enough uh, effort into your training, your next grading would be to uh, a full solid yellow belt. Then a further three months after that, you would be graded and be awarded your yellow belt green stripe. <clears throat> so you see how this is going. Three months further from that, you'd be graded to green belt. Then three months from that, you'll be graded to green belt, blue stripe. 
And three months on from that, this is where you reach your first milestone. So this is where you'll be awarded your blue belt. And I'm saying this is the milestone because this is where gradings only now happen every six months once you reach a uh, blue belt. So um, it's a, a, a kind of a, a longer journey in between uh, in between gradings. And, uh, and this is where the pace of things really, uh, really pick up in terms of um, the drills that you're given to uh, memorize and the techniques and just the just the overall quality of your training um, will be uh, it, it kind of takes things to the to the next level. Um, so then, like I said, uh, once you reach uh, blue belt, <clears throat> uh, and and you know, remember, guys, this is just an academy that I go to. It's probably different with uh, with some of the other academies. So the next belt from uh, the blue belt is, of course, my latest belt, which I received last weekend, blue belt, uh, red stripe. Six months from now, if I'm uh, good enough, I'll be hopefully graded to a solid red belt. Then the next one from that would be red belt, black stripe. And then finally, after a long four years uh, of training, uh, hopefully it will be a uh, black belt, but that's way off in the future. Can't even, can't even think about that at, uh, at this point. I'm just, uh, just focusing on the task at hand uh, now with this latest uh, grading. All right, so let's now take a quick look at how to tie a kickboxing belt. So especially for anybody who's uh, fairly new to kickboxing, maybe you've just received your very first belt and wondering how the hell do I tie these things? I know I certainly did when I first started uh, a couple of years ago. So you'll generally have um, a label or a tag or something on one end of the belt. So it's the opposite end of the belt that I want to grab. And uh, so probably several inches away from the end of the belt, I want to position it just on the front of my, my waist here. So I've got this excess bit of belt here. The rest of the belt, wrap it around your waist. Make sure it overlaps and lines up properly so you don't want anything twisted or bunched up or anything. <clears throat> so I've still got this little bit here and depending on the length of your belt and the size of your waist I guess um, you might want to wrap it around uh, a second time. Okay so I've now got three layers of belt here and this little piece here and a longer piece at the front which is exactly what I need. If it, if it starts feeling a bit twisted or bunched up just kind of make sure that it's all nice and uh, overlapped. So with this longer piece of belt now, the one with the, the label on the front, what I want to do is stuff it up behind the other layers So up behind the other layers of the belt, uh, over the top, and just kind of let it hang like that. Then what I want to do is take the the uh, the longer piece, the piece with the label on the front, and just put it, wrap it behind the shorter piece, like that. And that kind of this kind of creates this kind of loop here. So so I'll show that again. So. The longer piece, wrap it behind the shorter piece to create this loop and still having hold of the end of the longer piece, this is the, the one with the, the label on, put it through the loop and just pull it tight. So make sure it's tight enough that it's not going to uh, fall down part way through training, but obviously you don't want to, you don't want to be strangling yourself. <clears throat> so you should end up with something like that, a nice neat, nice neat knot. Uh, a vertical knot and two uh, approximately equal side uh, length of lengths of belt on on uh, on either side. Okay, so um, hopefully that'll help you guys out. Anybody who's maybe struggling with tying the belt, like I said, maybe maybe a new kickboxing and you've just received your very first belt. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully that's given you a better idea of how uh, the kickboxing grading system works. But please remember, like I said, um, different academies may have a slightly different variation on this, especially when it comes to the colours of the belts or the, uh, the 
the length of time between gradings. But as a rule of thumb, that's that's generally how things do do work. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you guys in the next video.